so that's the basic uh, idea of how uh, HVAC works. Now let's say how do you troubleshoot. Well first of all you have to always make sure that you have voltage to your controller board 120 volts AC so if you go uh, into the closet or garage or in the attic you will see it plugged into a normal wall socket of 120 volts AC always double check and make sure that your 120 volt AC has power to power up the controller board um, and you also want to have 240 volts at the breaker box outside um, to power up the condensing unit uh, if you click on this link right here that I'll show uh, I have a detailed explanation on how I replace a uh, breaker box circuit uh, and how you troubleshoot uh, uh, 200, uh, 120 volts AC and then if you click on this other link right here I also show how the 240 volts AC goes through the contactors and how do you check that out and how do you measure the 240 volts AC signal right here so here's these two links so moving forward the first thing you always have to check is to make sure that you have power I can tell you so many times how uh, a friend or even like my own home like the AC doesn't work and we start looking elsewhere but it comes back to the the circuit box the the uh, circuit panel uh, the junction box where there's no power going to either the furnace at the controller board or going to the condensing unit outside so it's a very easy check make sure that uh, you have power and click on these those two links to learn more about uh, how do you uh, uh, replace uh, circuit breaker if it's not working. Next you want to test out the thermostat. The thermostat, the very basic uh, way to test it out, the first thing I would always do is let's see if the blower motor works. So in order to do so you set the thermostat fan on and this forces the blower mo motor to kick on. So what happened is that 24 volts comes from the circuit board and then it returns back uh, to the green line uh, and the green line will tell the controller board to turn on close the relay and turn on the blower now you can put your hand at the uh, at the uh, at the vents and and feel if there's any airflow it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot because right now it's only a fan blowing basically and you want to feel airflow. If you don't feel any airflow then uh, maybe your uh, blower, uh, well actually before you even go there, go over to your furnace and check to see if your blower is actually kicking on and if you hear the blower uh, turning on you can feel air then at least you know that uh, voltage is going through your thermostat back to your controller board and your controller board will turn on your blower if any of that does not work then maybe it's your controller board that's bad maybe you have a bad blower or maybe you have a bad thermostat uh, there are two batteries inside a thermostat maybe that's what you need to change and um, to go into more detail on how uh, all this troubleshooting on uh, the wiring right here or uh, how to troubleshoot the thermostat and the controller board you can click on this video right below here this video right, right here shows how I troubleshoot in detail this whole, uh, this whole uh, system right here so if you have if your uh, blower does come on but there's no airflow at the vents that means that something is clogged up maybe your evaporator coil is clogged up 
maybe uh, your uh, vents are clogged up something is clogged up in between preventing the air from coming through sometimes your evaporator can uh, get filled up with ice because uh, it's uh, getting too cold and and that can block the air too so sometimes you want to let your uh, f uh, AC wait for like an hour or so all the ice melts and then start back on the fan to see if there's any airflow so that's the number one thing I would test to see if there's any airflow and if you made sure that there's airflow and the fan turns then you can move on to the next test turn it back turn the fan back to auto and now let's uh, push it over to code uh, if you set the thermostat to let's say 72 degrees lower than what the room temperature is um, then the very first thing like I said before uh, 24 volts go through this control board into the thermostat and back out to the control board and closes the relay this kicks on the, the evaporator blower we have in the previous uh, steps, I'm assuming that you watched that short video that I had on the bottom and you've realized that your thermostat is working and the wires are working and there's nothing wrong with the controller board. So if all those assumptions are correct, now it, normally what happened is that I go outside to the condensing unit and I want to check for the 24 volts. Uh, AC signal and the previous previously I, I gave you a link I'll give you a link to that video again down here you do want to measure 24 volts AC right here if you don't have 24 volts AC right here then at the contactor that means that either this wire right here is that da damaged or once again the controller board is damaged or maybe the thermostat is damaged but that's basically the next step that I always always check is the 24 volt AC because you have to have that in order to make the condensing unit unit come on so let's say you do have 24 volt AC uh, on on the contactor and then the relays close, the contactor close, so now you have 240 volt AC. This is when I like to measure the next side on the other side of the contactor. If you measure on this side of the contactor you should have 240 volts AC. If you don't then it's a breaker board. Once again watch a video about how I troubleshoot the breaker board and replace it. If not then it's on the other side of the contactor and you can also watch that video on how to troubleshoot on the other side of the contactor now it's the now it after you have voltage here it charges up the run and start capacitor you want to watch the following video to under, to uh, replace a run start capacitor if this doesn't charge up sometimes the run start capacitor can be bad uh, and I have a video right here that shows you uh, how to measure the run start capacitor how to make sure that your run start capacitor isn't bad um, and this other video shows you how to replace it so it kicks on the run start capacitor then if you don't hear if you don't see the fan come on then if you're sure that the capacitor is, is working but the fan doesn't come on then you might have a bad fan you might have loose connections in between so that's the next thing you want to check and then of course if the fan comes on but you don't hear this humming sound from the compressor then you know that well the compressor isn't working so you should hear three sounds you should hear the vibration from the contactor you should hear the humming sound from the compressor and you should see the fan blowing air so there's three sounds wind blowing sound compressor and a contactor there's three sounds that's going on if you don't hear all three sounds then something is is wrong so you can check on that but let's say everything works the fan comes on the compressor comes on uh, and
and uh, and it's still not there's still no cold air right here at the vent then it comes down to last two things either your evaporator uh, uh, either your condenser coil right here is clogged or you're low on Freon um, so you can watch this next video right here this is how I clean the condenser coil and that usually helps but uh, if it's just blowing complete hot air then you might have well actually you also might even have a bad compressor too but normally if the compressor can come on it's a good chance that maybe it's low on Freon um, a con compressor can cost you about a thousand dollars to replace to charge up a Freon it's a couple hundred bucks and uh, so it can get pretty pricey on that and uh, oh and also you might have a leak and if you have a leak then of course you will on Freon but that's mainly how I troubleshoot for the AC for the heater on the furnace side well let's first of all set it to heat set the thermostat to 80 degrees it's hotter than it's set to higher temperature than the room temperature once again 24 volts AC goes through here and then it sends back the signal to the controller board and then the controller board turns on uh, the blower and then it t closes another contact, another relay and that turns on the furnace if the blower comes on but you don't see any gas coming, like you don't see any fire coming on uh, uh, shooting out then that means that you might not have any gas so uh, but if you smell gas then quickly turn it off well if you smell gas for about 30 seconds but still no fire like still the furnace still hasn't kicked on then uh, your uh, uh, a furnace might not uh, be starting up the, the gas correctly so quickly turn it off and usually uh, the control board knows how to turn the gas off if there's too much gas leaking um, but you want to click on this next video right here that I have that explains uh, how to uh, troubleshoot the furnace and that's pretty much it how to troubleshoot the HVAC system for both cold air and, and hot air and to check to see if the fan comes on and off. Thank you.